I am Brett Michael Phillips, and I'm here to bring a simple, rational, scientific understanding of these New Age phenomena, to show you what's really happening when we do intuitive readings, when we experience instant healings, when we read the future. There really is a rational and scientific explanation, and I'm here to give that to you. And so if you're enjoying this series, please click like, please click subscribe. Awesome. So what is the biggest mistake? Here it is. The biggest mistake people make with their intuition is they expect their intuitive senses work just like their physical senses. <clears throat> Wrong. Not true. But this will get, keep you stuck. This kept me stuck for years, I kid you not. Years. I spent tens of thousands of dollars on all these trainings and intensives and clearings and supplements and all this, right? I spent thousands of dollars on this monoatomic gold because someone said it would open my third eye and make me intuitive. Kind of a waste of money in my experience. Why? I was making this one big mistake. I was expecting my intuitive senses work just like my physical senses. So what does that mean? Well, here's what it means. If you expect your intuitive vision to look like your physical vision, you're going to miss out. It's not the same. Seeing something in your mind's eye, imagining it, is not the same as looking at a picture printed on paper or an LED screen on your phone. It's not consistent and solid in that way. When you do an intuitive reading and you get a visual hit, it's a flash of it, a sense of it, right? It's not like a steady image you can analyze and decipher. If you're an auditory intuitive, what you've probably been expecting is the booming voice of God, right? That's what we all want. I wanted to hear, hey Brent, all you have to do is buy stock X and you'll be a millionaire, right? That's what I wanted. I wasn't getting it. I'm like, where's my booming voice of God, right? Why isn't this like the movies or the Bible, right? Why isn't something awesome like that happening? Well, that's a myth. Because again, your physical senses are not the same as your intuitive senses. And if you expect your intuition to act like your physical senses, you're going to be stuck. Just as if you had a car with no key. You spend a lot of money, it looks pretty, but it goes nowhere. If you're kinesthetic, it's very easy to confuse this too, right? that feeling something intuitively is not exactly the same as feeling it in physicality. So feeling warmth intuitively is not quite the same as actually feeling the warmth of a fire with your hands. And once you understand this, then you can actually start to build intuition. And I'm going to give us an exercise we're going to do right here on this video to help point you in the right direction, to help get you started and understanding, okay, what is my intuitive senses really like? One thing my first teacher, Tara, used to say was, she'd say, Brent, you're standing with the front door open wondering where everybody is. They're all at the back window pounding to be let in. That's what a lot of us are doing, right? Our intuition is right there waiting for us, but we're looking the other way. Not even thinking, all you have to do is turn your head and there it is, right? So how do we do this? Let me give you an exercise. This is how we do it. I want you to imagine a car. You may notice this is similar if you've been through the other videos in this series, right? Where we're using this one because it's so valuable. So imagine a car. And once you have some sense of this car, let us know in the comments what your car is. Just let us know what color and what type of car, right? Maybe it's a white Tesla, right? Maybe it's a black Corvette. Keep it simple, right? And let us know in the comments what is your car. Okay. So here's the hint, here's the teaching. The way you imagine that car, that's exactly how your intuition shows up. That's where you look. This is why I say when you imagine a black Corvette, it's not quite the same as looking at a picture in a magazine, is it? No. When you imagine it in your mind's eye, you have a sense of it. You get a flash, a feeling here and there, right? That's where it shows up. That's what it looks like. For your auditory intuition, it can be tricky because at first you're not going to know what to look for because your auditory intuition looks and sounds very similar to your own thoughts and memories. So part of the training that I want to put everyone through to learn the skill at a high level is to learn to discern those little differences. That, hey, that's my mind's chatter. That's my guidance, right? 
That's a higher level skill, but that's where we're going with this. But if you confuse the two, if you expect that reading the future is going to be like watching a movie projected onto your eyelids, accompanied by the soundtrack of the booming voice of God, that's clearly not your own thoughts or memories. This is God, right? Yeah. It doesn't work like that. The way it works is just the way you imagine the car. That's how it shows up in your mind. That's how it works. And if you're looking in the right place, expecting the right thing, I think you'll be amazed at how far this takes you. If you would like to learn more, we got down in the comments, we got a link to our spiritual power quiz. If you haven't done it, check it out. It'll take you about 30 seconds. We'll help you identify your hidden spiritual power. At the end of the quiz, you'll have an opportunity to register for my free online live Healathon webinar. I only do it a handful of times a year, so you'll want to make sure you get a ticket and reserve it on your calendar. Because I'm not just going to talk to you about intuition, I'm going to lead you through a lot more interactive processes to help develop it. I'll show you how to check yourself for subconscious blocks. We'll do a subconscious block clearing exercise. I will even train you into the quantum field, which radically accelerates many people's intuitive skill. And there's really nowhere else in the world you can get that. So if you're interested to learn and experience more, check it out. I think I know it's going to blow your mind. This is Brent Michael Phillips signing off for now, and I'm really excited to see you again, maybe here on YouTube, maybe in my live Healathon webinar. Until next time, please take care and namaste.